Good morning, boys and girls. Um, today, we're going to be talking about participles and participial phrases. So, let's look at our pacing guide. Um, today is Wednesday. So, you should have um, completed your bell work. You should have either finished your flip grid that is due tomorrow by 3.30 or at least worked on it a little bit. Um, and then, you should be right here. So, you went to modules and you found this video. Now, I need you to open. Everybody open your grammar book to 131. Remember, if you don't have your grammar book, please contact me because you obviously need it. This is the second time we've opened it. All right. So, now we're going to go over participles. So, I first want to start off by telling you that participles are something called verbals. And mm. verbals, um, that's the next big grammar topic that we're obviously learning about. So get your highlighter out for me. I want you to highlight the definition of a verbal. A verbal is a verb form that functions as a different part of speech. Three kinds of verbals that you will learn are participles, gerunds, and infinitives. Okay, I want you to highlight all of that. And I want you to either circle or underline the three types of verbals. So we, um, this week and next week, are going to be talking about participles, gerunds, and infinitives. Um, what you need to know, and you might, you could write this down to the side. A verbal is just a word that you would normally think is a verb, but it's just acting as a different part of speech. Okay? That's it. So it looks like a verb, but it's acting as a different part of speech. It will make more sense in just a second. All right, so the first one we're going to talk about, we're not even going to think about these other two yet, is a participle. A participle is a verb form that acts as an adjective. Oh my gosh, this is so important. Okay, you've got to highlight that. First of all, if you don't know what an adjective is, then you're going to really struggle with this. You've got to make sure that you understand adjectives. Adjectives modify nouns or pronouns. Okay, so off to the side, I want you to write a participle equals um, a verb form that acts, at, or a verbal that acts as an adjective. And then under that, I want you to put an adjective equals modifies a noun or a pronoun. Okay, so participles are adjectives. That is so important. That's the most important part of this. All right, now here's the great thing. We've already talked about present participles. Remember when we did those um, irregular verb charts? So we know that present participles are going to end in ing. So highlight that off the side. I want you to write present participle ing. Past participles usually end in d or ed. Write that off to the side. So here are the notes that we have so far. A participle is a verbal that acts as an adjective. An adjective modifies a noun or a pronoun. A present participle ends in ing. And a past participle ends in d or ed. And we know with um, irregular verbs that they are going to have a different ending. But we've already talked about that, so we're in good shape. All right, next part. When you put a helping verb before a participle, you have a verb phrase. When you use a participle alone, you have a modifier that functions as an adjective. So let's look at the difference. All right, this says Laurie is winning the race. Now, this is an ing verb, but it has a helping verb in front of it. So this is not a participle. This is just a verb phrase. Now look at the difference. Who has the winning ticket? Winning is an ing. Ticket is a noun. So winning is a participle because it's an adjective modifying ticket. Okay, so I want everybody to underline winning and write adjective. And I want you to understand that that is, since that is an, a word that could be a verb, it's a verbal. It's a participle because it is an, acting as an adjective. Okay, now look at this one. Have you ever broken a bone? Well, broken, um, we know that that is an irregular verb. So it is past tense, but since we have the helping verb have, broken is not describing bone here. This have broken is just a verb phrase. Now look at the difference. Broken, same word, but in this case, it's a verbal, meaning it is a word that looks like a verb, but it's functioning as a different part of speech. Now think about it. Why is broken a participle? Okay, I see so many hands in the air right now. Just kidding, I don't. But I know you're thinking broken is a participle because it is acting as an adjective because it's describing bone. So underline broken or highlight it, put an arrow to bone. And then again, since bone is a noun, broken is a participle. All right, now a participial phrase. 
Guys, it's the same thing. You're just going to have more than one word. So a participle is just going to be that one word, that one verbal that's acting as an adjective. So highlight this for me. A participial phrase is made up of a participle and all of its modifiers. Highlight that whole definition. A participial phrase may contain objects, modifiers, and prepositional phrases. The whole phrase acts as an adjective. So all that means is it's going to have a participle and then you're going to have different other words that um, go along with it, okay? Now, if it's at the beginning, it's most of the time going to have um, a comma after it, which is going to make it really easy to identify because there's your ing, there's your participle, and all of this is modifying Jerry, and Jerry is your noun, so that is a participial phrase. Larry made the crown worn by Queen Esther. Worn is our participle. Worn by Queen Queen Esther is describing crown. So that's an adjective because crown is a noun. Okay, now if you look at the lesson plan, it tells you next to go to the participle and participial phrase slideshow. So if you look on Canvas, you're at week two. You're going to find it right here. Participles and participial phrase Google slideshow. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is click that. Then, guys, you're going to have um, an assignment that you're going to be completing with this. So what you're going to do is these are notes. I would save this in my Google Drive. So these are notes on participles and participial phrases. Now, there are certain parts on here that you're going to have to answer on Canvas. So if you look right here on the first slide, it says, go ahead and click the assignment on modules that goes along with the slideshow. Click Submit Assignment, and you're going to type your answers from the slideshow in that text box. This will be the first thing that you are including on in, in that text box. Let me fix that. Make sure that you have two screens pulled up side by side, this screen and the screen for the assignments. You can type your answers. So what I mean is these three sentences, that's going to be the first part of your answer. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go back to Modules. I'm going to find the actual assignment. So right here it says guided practice from Google Slideshow. I'm going to click it. Now, when you are looking at it, you're going to have a blue button that says submit assignment. Okay, and then a text box is going to pop up. Now, I'm going to drag this and I'm going to have two screens open so that I can complete my assignment here while I'm looking at what I'm supposed to do here. So the first part is, can you find a word in each sentence below that looks like a verb but acts like an adjective? So you're just doing what we talked about. You're finding the participle. So in your text box, you'll just number at number one. You'll put your answer number two, put your answer number three, put your answer. Then you're going to keep going through the notes. Okay. And then right here, here's your next part. So you're just going to number it one, two, three again. You can just press return, um, make some space from your first part. It says go through each of these sentences and pick out the participles. You're going to type your answer. Some more notes. I need you to please read those. And again, please save this. Then you're going to... Oh, what happened? Okay, more notes. And then right here, guided practice. You're going to type your answer. Sorry, it's a little stretched out. It says combine the following sets of sentences by forming a participial phrase. So what that means is for number one, you have these three sentences. I want you to combine these, not re, you're not, you're just going to have one sentence that includes a participial phrase. So think about how can I combine these sentences to form a participial phrase. Remember, that's going to be, you're making one of these into an adjective. Same for this, same for this. Guys, please don't stress out about this. I just want to see your best work. Now, the first few, you should be able to figure out this is a little bit more difficult. So just want you to try your best. Okay, all right, now let's talk about one more thing before um, I go. Okay, so after you do that and you submit, um, if you look, guys, first of all, that's due at 3.30 tomorrow. If you look at, not Thursday, but Friday, it says to complete exercise 3 on 131 and 132. So that's right underneath what we just went over. So if you want to go ahead and start that, you can. It's right here. So if you watch the video and you're like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this part, 
that's wonderful. Um, just follow the directions, and we will go over those answers later on. Okay, y'all just reach out if you need any help, and I love y'all, and have a great day.